G'day folks, Rico here. Today we're going to show you how to set up your Easy Trail Lincoln LX Mark III. It's a pretty simple job, so let's get into it. The first step is always to make sure your handbrake is engaged and then we can start to level the trailer out. Giving us a hand today with our setup is Marty from the Landsvale Stool. Between us, we're going to show you exactly how to get this nailed. Okay, the next step is to get your drop down legs in place to make sure that the trailer is nice and stable. Just pull out the locking pins and grab your brace and start winding. Next up, we need to get the boat loader out of the way. Now, this is a two step process. We've got some locking pins on this side, so the first thing we need to do is take these out. Keep them handy because you're going to need it to lock it in place once it's upright. The next step in getting your boat loader up and out of the way is undo your locking pins, undo your over center catches, and then if you've got a mate on the other side, you just pass it straight across and he'll take care of the other side. Let's go and have a look. Once you've got the boat loader over, what you need to do is just line up the hole with the bracket, put the locking pins back in, and now she's locked in place safe and sound. The next step is to go around and remove all of the locking pins all the way around from your over center catches because they're going to be coming undone next. Now the last step before we actually open the tent up is to get rid of these spare wheels out of the way so that this end can swing over. We've got a couple of latches down here. You can do this by yourself but if you've got two people it's a whole lot easier. The Lincoln is a double opening trailer, so it has a floor here and a floor here. They're going to open up like this, like a bit of an opera house. And you'll notice this lip here. This means that this one has to go first. And then when you're doing it back up, it's the same deal. This one comes down first, so this one comes across second. There's a nice seal here that keeps all the dust out. So just pay attention to that sort of stuff while you're setting up. Okay, now it's time to go ahead and unlock all of the over center catches that hold the tent in place. Here's a little tip that's going to make life a little bit easier for you. And once you've done this a few times, you'll have worked this one out for yourself, but I'm going to give you the heads up now. Just here, we have the legs that support this end of the bed. Go ahead and take those out now. Get those ready. That way, when you fold the bed over, you're not having to climb in underneath and mucking around with pins trying to get those out. Like almost every aspect of setting up a camper trailer, it's always easier when you've got two people. Sure, you can do it yourself, but if you've got two folks there, it does make the job easier. What we're gonna do now is open up the tent. Let's lock that one down. As you can see here, these gas struts have already done the bulk of the heavy lifting for us and that's what makes the job quite a bit easier. In the rear, you grab the legs that we undid earlier and simply lift those up to the bracket that's on the base of the bed, slot the pin through and now you're supported. Before we move inside the tent, which is really the only tricky part of this whole job, what I like to do is go around and get all my canvas nice and neat and tidy and ready to go for when we actually erect the tent. 
You can see by folding it down like that, any rain or any water that's around is going to drip off rather than drip inside the bed. Alright, now you've got both of your bed ends out, secured, locked away, it's time to erect the tent. And look, this is probably the trickiest part of the whole erection of this tent. What we need to do now is go ahead and find the centre bow, which you'll find just here. It stores away like this, and we need to get inside and lift that up and attach it to the canvas. All right, here's a little tip. You'll notice inside here, we've got the first bow on our left and the second bow on our right. What we're gonna do is when we go in, we're gonna lift that second bow up, not all the way, and lock it into place just to give ourselves a little bit more room. Now on the rear bed, we've got the same situation. We can go ahead and we don't even have to get inside for this one and just lift up that second bow to give us a little bit more space. Just lock that in, we'll go around the other side and we'll do the same thing. All right, now we've got a lot more space to work inside the trailer. Just gonna make life quite a bit easier. You'll notice that the trailer in its packed up state, well, there's not a whole lot of room inside. So one of the things that we've learned over the years is when you're setting up, grab all your cushions from your lounge and pop them up on the bed at the front. That's gonna get them out of the way, stop them from being damaged, stop you from walking all over them and give you the space you need to get that center bow up and locked into position. Now with a clear floor, we can go ahead and raise the center bow and get it attached to the canvas. All right, we're ready to get the center canvas up and out of the way with that center bow we talked about earlier. You'll see that there are two loops hanging down that have Velcro on them. Locate those and we're gonna bring our center loop up and attach it to those. By lowering down that centre bow into its lowest position, it's going to make it a little bit easier to wrangle around the canvas. As we said earlier, this is really the only tricky part of the job. You can see Marty now is grabbing those two loops, putting them around the bow, fastening the Velcro. On the centre bow, you'll notice that there's an eyelet on the corner. Marty's pointing that out for you now. Make sure that that's coming through the hole in the canvas. That's for your annex later on. If you find that and get that centred now, you're going to find life a whole lot easier later on when you want to set up your annex. Now it's time to raise the centre bow. We've got it attached to the canvas, so we're going to unlock the over centre locks that are on each side. Now it's time to lift that centre bow up and lock him into place. You don't want to go all at once. You can do one side at a time, slide him up, lock it in, slide the other side up, lock it in, repeat the process, go back across, just a bit at a time. If you've got two people, you can do it all at once, but there's no rush, you know, we're here for a good time. And that's pretty close. So now what we'll do is go ahead and get all of our other bows into position in the same way. We'll open them up till the canvas is stretched nice and taut and then we can start thinking about putting our lounge back together. All right, so basically what we like to do is start at one end and work our way down. Again, one side at a time. You don't want to make it crazy, crazy tight. Just enough so that the canvas is not flapping around. You don't want to stretch the stitching or anything silly like that. And now it's simply a case of repeating the process down at the other end.
Here's another little pro tip that we've picked up after years of setting these things up. Now before you go and get all of your bows done up nice and tight, just head outside and grab this. This is the, uh, the outside of the door and you'll notice there's press studs. Let's get a few of those in place. And what that's going to do, it's going to allow you to figure out just how tight this needs to be. We can see there's quite a bit of play there. Marty's going to go ahead and adjust that for us now. And there we go. That's how you want it. You don't want it to be silly tight, but you want it to be nice and straight. And go ahead and do the rest. All right, who's good at jigsaw puzzles? Nah, me either. But setting up the lounge is a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle, and we're going to show you how to do it. All right, just like any jigsaw puzzle, it pays to start with the obvious pieces, and the most obvious piece is the corner. The next obvious piece is the back with a single cutout that I showed you. It just goes in there next to that pole, so that lines up. You can't get that one wrong. The next piece is a nice plain piece, and that just slots in there behind the bed. You're nearly halfway there already. Now we'll start on the base of that area as well. And you'll see that these have the Velcro on the bottom of them. So the long one goes down, and that matches up nicely with the back pieces. The single corner part. We've got another backing on the other side here. You'll see that there are two cutaways. The second cutaway here is when you want to lift the TV out. We'll show you that later on. All right, our lounge is done. It's time to get our table out and into position. So what you need to do is simply pick it up. It's not terribly heavy. Just high enough so you can spin him around. And in the center, you'll find the winder. So lift the lid off, put the little lever on, start winding away. The kids will fight over this job, I promise you. There you go, lever comes back off, lays back down, hidden away, table's done. The last step in getting your trailer ready in its most basic form, and getting all of this canvas nice and tight, is to put the spreader poles in and we're going to start in the corner with our little short upright pole and you can find out which poles you need by referring to the pole chart that comes with the trailer. So simply clip on, spread out and lock into place. Now there's our first one, the next one is our spreader bar. You can see that canvas there now is nice and tight, it's looking really good. This is the last spreader. Now all we need to do is repeat the process on the other side. Well there you have it folks, that's the Lincoln LX Mark III setup in its most basic form. Now I promise you, the first few times you do this are going to be tricky, but it does get easier every single time you do it. So stick to it and you'll have it down pat just like we have. Now for more tips, tricks, hints and hacks and things that we've learned from towing easy trails all around the countryside, make sure you stay tuned to the Facebook page for the guys at Easy Trail. Make sure you give it a like and a follow. And while you're online, head over to their YouTube channel 
and you'll see a heap more videos there as well. Make sure you subscribe to that one. Easy Trail, they really are making camping easy.